On this week's episode, we finally get to talk about the Snyder Cut. Yeah, Justice League Snyder Cut's available on HBO Max. We saw it and it was awesome. All the way, mm -hmm. uh, even though the movie is uh, it's a uh, we knew a lot about the movie mm -hmm. from the other version, Joss Whedon's version, and we knew a lot about it because since the movie was released, everybody demanded the Snyder cut, the Zack Snyder mm -hmm. version. So we knew a lot of you know hints and stuff like that because uh, for for a moment, a short period, people thought that we would never see it. Mm -hmm. And uh, so Snyder start revealing stuff about it. Anyways, let's start from the beginning. So mm -hmm. Zack Snyder directed The Man of Steel, the Superman movie. That led into Batman vs. Superman, uh, Dawn of Justice. That led to Justice League movie. Mm -hmm. And the Justice League, Justice League movie was being produced direct by Zack Snyder. Mm -hmm. But a uh, family tragedy happened uh, to him and to his family. He had a daughter that uh, committed suicide and that made him leave production. So he was out of the movie and then Warner Brothers decided to hire someone else to finish the movie. And they hired uh, Joss Whedon mm -hmm. that uh, ab uh, among other things produced the uh, directed the Avengers, the first and the second Avengers movie. Mm -hmm. He reshoot stuff, he rewrote stuff, and he put out this version of the Justice League that we knew until uh, that was the only one we knew until mm -hmm. I don't know a couple weeks ago. Finally, this week, uh, after years of protesting, rallying it. Uh, 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 campaigning on internet, uh, uh, paying for ads at the comic cons all all over the world, paying for you know mm -hmm. Super Bowl ads and stuff like that. The fans really got together and and put it out there. It's like we demand, we want the Zack Snyder cut. Release the Snyder cut. Hashtag release the Snyder cut. Finally, after all that. Uh, uh, Warner Brothers decided to release the, the Snyder, Zack Snyder version of the movie mm -hmm. and what happened was he didn't have to shoot much he only had to use the footage that Joe Sweden didn't and one of the things he, he mentioned was he would not use any of Joe Sweden footage that's not my movie that this has that has nothing to do with my movie that changes that decided to do but it's not my movie so In fact, apparently he's never even seen it yeah he refuses I mean just to watch he, it he, and, and he his wife told him not to watch it anyways so after years fighting the fans uh, uh, demanding and the one that brought like, fine through HBO Max it's like we're gonna release the Snyder Cut mm -hmm. so he got they, they got Snyder Zack Snyder mm -hmm. uh, to finish uh, his movie his vision he finished it he uh, had to reshoot some things we're gonna talk about mm -hmm. but mostly the four hours movie that is on HBO Max is the original Zack Snyder vision for the Justice League mm -hmm. and we're gonna talk about this completely different yeah and it's so much better and so yeah last week on March 18 was finally released the Zack Snyder just Zack Snyder's Justice League. Mm -hmm. Yeah, at this point, calling it the Snyder Cut it really feels like a misnomer. Like that was the hashtag, but yeah. th this is this is this isn't like a director's cut. This is a totally different movie. Yeah, different scope, different. It's just completely different. So yeah. Anyway, Zack Snyder. So Justice yeah. Mm -hmm. Why do you want to begin? Oh gosh. Um, do we want to do a summary or? Well, you can do a quick summary. The movie has four hours, so... Yeah, that's true. Well, in, in, in plot, it's very similar. You know, Steppenwolf is, Steppenwolf is coming to collect the mother boxes and to, you know, to form the unity and um, transform the Earth and, so, and, and give it to Darkseid. 
Um, but and Bruce is assembling a, an alliance of superheroes to to fight him. Yes. That's basically the very yeah, short version. Yeah. Very short version. Uh, if if you want to talk about uh, what's different from this one to the other mm -hmm. one, in the Joss Sweden's version, uh, Steppenwolf is the big bad guy. He is the mm. ultimate bad guy. Yeah. He came to Earth before. He fought the, the champions of Earth. Yes. And he got beat up and he left. Mm -hmm. uh, on this one, like it should be, like it's on the books, Steppenwolf is one of the Arots. Is that what in English? I don't think so. <laughs> okay. Uh, well, if you don't know, yeah. <laughs> it could be. But it could be now. Yeah. He's one of the the scouts. He's one of sure. the the followers, the disciples, one of mm. the uh, subjects of Dark Side, the Lord of Apocalypse, uh, yeah. which that was completely ignored from from uh, Joss Whedon's version. So he was the ultimate bad guy, and he came here to conquer. Uh, Earth, like he conquered all the planets. Mm -hmm. On this one, no. Uh, uh, he's 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 a second, maybe third, maybe fourth. He's one of the uh, Dark Side's followers, mm -hmm. and he's here on a mission to get, uh, if anything, to get more, to get redemption because he screwed up with the boss. Yeah. And what we learn on this new one is the dark side himself came here in the past and tried to conquer Earth like he did to mm -hmm. many other planets. But the champions of Earth being Zeus, his son Ares, Artemis, mm -hmm. a Green Lantern, uh, the kingdom of Atlantis, mm -hmm. uh, the, the Amazons, Amazon and the kingdoms of men. And yes, and they all together mm -hmm. uh, fight fought uh, dark side and apocalypse mm -hmm. hosts and kicked their butts mm -hmm. and they left they leave until mm -hmm. now um, yeah and so what happens now so they you know they these three groups took the mother boxes and hid them but when Superman died that woke up the I guess I woke up the Amazon's mother box. Yes, the one yeah. that's the first. It woke up the Amazon's mother box. And and this kind of references some lines from the very end of, of Dawn of Justice when um, Luther, Batman goes to see Luther in, in prison and, and he says, the bell's already been rung. Ding, 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 ding. Like, you know, they're coming. And um, anyway, that's the bell that's been rung. So now the message is going out. Superman is dead. Earth is fair game. And so the that's the mother that's the message the mother box sends and so Steppenwolf comes um, and that that's why he's here Earth is undefended it's fair game and he's bringing his parademons to track down all the mother boxes starting with the Amazons yeah there was a, there was a line in this version there was a line in the original trailer mm -hmm. for the, the previous uh, Justice League version. Yeah. The, this this earth has no protectors. There's no lanterns. There's no Kryptonian. Mm -hmm. You know this this earth is ours for for taking. And yeah, so that's why Apocalypse comes back. It's like, hey, they don't have more champions. No, Steppenwolf. Huh? You said Apocalypse. Yeah, Apocalypse through Steppenwolf. Apocalypse. Oh, okay. He okay. represents yep. Apocalypse. Yes, I got so you. Sorry, Apocalypse. Sorry. Uh, it's like, hey, let's let's get it. Mm -hmm. uh, so he comes and then he goes and fought the Amazons. Mm -hmm. He goes and fought uh, uh, the Atlanteans. Mm -hmm. But there's one missing box. And why is it? It's sleeping. Mm -hmm. This box is sleeping. And. It's sleeping on the floor. Of Victor Stone's closet. Yeah, with his football trophies. Yes. Uh, among other things. Mm -hmm. So, uh, uh, meanwhile, Bruce is recruiting all these people. He talked to Aquaman, mm -hmm. and Aquaman says, Don't count on it, Batman. Uh, uh, you, you're yeah. crazy. He dresses a bat. Uh huh. Uh, and then he's go swimming. <laughs> he does. Uh, then he goes talk to the uh, to one Barry Allen and then one of, um, some of the things we we saw very different in this one that mm -hmm. never made to the the other one was uh, the scenes with Barry and Iris. 
uh, Barry is mm. uh, looking for a job and he finds this, this pet shop and she's leaving and he's getting in mm -hmm. and they, they exchange looks, they mm -hmm. very impressed by each other and she gets so impressed about him that when she drives by uh, uh, she looks at him mm -hmm. and she like she loses a little bit of attention and the truck driver coming lose completely his attention because he drops a, a hamburger uh, belly to you know? be fair it was a really good looking big belly cheeseburger yes. uh -huh. so I'll say that in his defense but like yeah he was like on the floor looking for his burger instead of driving his semi yeah. down the city street and then uh, and they crash and then Barry saw, saw, see, uh, sees that and goes says uh, Iris, mm -hmm. and then uh, he exchanges look with her in this very uh, romantic uh, uh, thing. You know, it's like when you see uh, the person you love for the uh -huh. first time, it's like an eternity in one second, and they yeah. literally did that. <laughs> yeah, this is our nice like introduction to the speed force. Every time he looks at her, it's like slows down. Yeah, it's so great. And it's like it takes forever in one yeah. uh, half of a second. She's like flying out of this yeah. car. There's broken glass everywhere, and he just stops and like pushes her hair out of her eyes. <laughs> It's Puts a hot dog in his pocket. And like, saves uh, her. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. So And gets the job. And gets the job. Yeah. So we see we see one uh young Barry Allen uh, uh doing that. He mm -hmm. goes back to his, his lair and there's uh Bruce Wayne there. And uh, mm -hmm. recruits him, and he says right away, "Yes, I need friends." Mm -hmm. So he joins the gang. Uh, we we see uh, Wonder Woman fighting crime in terrorists mm -hmm. in London, mm -hmm. but she she also comes and joins the gang because once Steppenwolf invades uh, uh, Themyscira, yeah. they send a message. Yeah. So they said so. And actually, this is another difference um, here that I love. So one thing that, regardless of the merits of both movies, Zack Snyder just had a lot more time. And so he was able to develop a lot of these and, and give a lot more backstory and develop a lot of characters more. Um, and so the Amazons, when, when Steppenwolf comes to get the Amazon's mother box, this, um, in the Snyder version, that battle's a lot more prolonged and we really get a chance to like feel and see the the fear, the sacrifice, really what's at stake. Um, and we also get to see a lot of the power and the might of the Amazons. Whereas I felt in the in the Josh Whedon one, like we see them come galloping over the, like they, they fight a little bit inside, um, the inside that little room where they kept the mother box and then they come galloping over the hill and then boom, it's done. It's over. Like it felt really anticlimactic. And this one, he gave them the time. He, I feel like he did them justice. Um, anyway. Justice has been served. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Double meaning in that. Um, okay, so then the the Amazons say, okay, we have to let we have to let the world of men know what's happening. That Steppenwolf is coming to find the mother boxes. So they take the arrow of Artemis, and Hippolyta says this prayer over it, like you know, find my daughter and all this. And she she shoots it off, and it lands at the shrine of the Amazons. And of course, nobody knows what this means. So all the news and, and this archaeologist that Diana works with is like, "Oh, the arson is ridiculous, and people are the worst." But Diana knows what that arrow is about, and so she goes to the shrine of the Amazons and retrieves the arrow and uses it to actually open up like a secret underground chamber that tells the whole story of the first time yes. Darkseid and Steppenwolf came to Earth. And so she takes this knowledge back. Um, to to Batman to explain what's happening and, and add the urgency like we're not preparing for something that's gonna happen it's happening now yeah. and we have to be ready now just back to Timmy's here real quick mm. this, this, this is this pretty cool moment uh, uh, that was like it never made the other version it's like everything on this movie was like why the heck was going on in with why this never made the, 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 the you know I know it's like, like yeah. he was given this and he was like eh, but and but I like this better yeah. I just oh. he was he was giving uh, I don't know uh, a burger and you know those paper wrappings there after burger yeah and he decided to eat the the, the paper I don't know I, know. Well, I mean maybe not that he bad he was given a and Lamborghini <laughs> and he went for the Hyundai like uh, but it's like there's this moment in Camisera that when Steppenwolf shows up. The uh, the queen mm. is, it screams, Amazons, show your how is it? Show, show him your fear. Show him your fears. I'm like, 
ah! you know? we have no fear yeah. oh man <laughs> <sighs> yeah I mean, really it was only natural to have something like this. This is the guy that did 300, so it was like, mm -hmm. okay, now I see. This is the guy that did 300, <laughs> not the, yeah. the guy that did, uh, I know, Buffy. Yeah. Anyways, no, nothing is Buffy. I actually never watched it, uh, uh, so I can I can say anything about it. But, mm -hmm. uh, so, yeah, the, the Amazons fight uh, oh, and yeah. died, sacrifice fiercely Steppenwolf before they yeah. send a message to the man's world mm -hmm. and you know as you said yeah. Diana gets it and goes to Batman with all the details mm -hmm. you know now you know this, this fight has been going on for mm -hmm. millennia yeah. mm -hmm. and uh, uh, these people are coming back you know for vengeance because they lost the first time and yeah. they think this time they can do it uh -huh. uh, so yeah okay so them I together, yeah. so them together, they're gonna recruit. So they recruit Flash. They mm -hmm. go back to Gotham, and then uh, they receive reports from uh, one uh, uh, commission co captain. He's still captain, right? He's no, I think he's a, he's a commissioner. commissioner. Yeah, commissioner. Ah, yeah, twenty years. Yeah. Yeah. So Commissioner Gordon mm -hmm. about how like people being kidnapped, people being disappeared. Yes. Uh, by by this figure that looks like a bat. Yeah. It's actually a parademon. Uh huh. And then they're gonna go uh, investigate that because it's related to they figure out it's related to the box mm -hmm. um what okay so Aqu aquaman shows up and is like okay fine i'll come cyborg also takes some convincing because and and here's another like just tragedy with between the weed and cut and the the theatrical version and the snyder version so Cyborg slash Victor Stone apparently was originally intended to be like the heart and soul of this film and that just never made it to the theatrical cut. With this one we get a lot more, not just time with Victor, but his he, we get a lot more of his story, like the, the death of his mom and you know what, what his dad did to him and um, his relationship with the mother box, also the way his powers develop, and he's trying to figure out his own identity and who he is and what he can do and what his life is supposed to be and does he even want a life anymore? And as all that's happening, and he's figuring out the mother box because he's basically a product of a mother box. Um, Diana finally is able to convince him to come and join as well. And. Yeah. yeah, we see, we see, we also see more of, uh, of other characters. We see more about Mar Martha Kent. We see yeah. more about Lois, mm -hmm. who's in a really bad place. Mm -hmm. She, she, she basically never went back to work after mm -hmm. uh, uh, Superman died. Mm -hmm. She goes every day to the, the memorial. Mm -hmm. um, what are other characters? We see more about the Flash, the relationship with his father. The dialogue is longer, and we see that yeah. his father's like, "Don't come see me," and it's like, "Move on, get a life." Mm -hmm. And Barry's like, "No, no, no," and and we learn that he is in college for crime uh, science. Yeah, criminology. criminology. No, criminal science. Criminal science. Something like that. Uh, um, that's, all, that's all really short and then really erased from the original version. Mm -hmm. Now we have more details of what's going on. There's a one phrase that he says uh, uh, to him that make echoes at the end of the movie and who knows maybe on the next flash movie is like make a future for yourself or something like that right yeah 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 and I like make your own future make your own future yeah. and that's what pushes him to a very key uh, moment at the end of the mm -hmm. movie um okay aquaman i will see he talking to vocal uh, uh from atlantis and yes your mother and your, if your mother were alive she would be the one leading the fight against mm -hmm. the, the guy that stole the box yeah um orm is the worst you have to this is serious you can't be goofing around anymore yeah yeah Okay, they have their conflict in the tunnel. They face Steppenwolf in the tunnel to rescue the people that were kidnapped. That was in the Whedon version, right? There was. Is that? Yeah. There was, but it was it was different. Mm -hmm. You know, there was like some 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 jokes and some one-liners and some like there's a scene where the flesh falls on Wonder Woman's boobs, uh, uh, and this one he helps her and he falls. 
Mm -hmm. Then someone comes and help him. There's no like, you know. Yeah. Jokes all the time. It's not time for jokes. I mean, the character, the, the Flash character is a really funny guy mm -hmm. because he's funny, you know. You don't need to make everyone making jokes when you, you know. Yeah. Alfred is, is it's really oh light and is really a hilarious. great character. And he's, he's competent, he's, mm -hmm. he's strong, he, he has really good, uh, he says really important things to Bruce. But you know when they when they coming out of uh, what's that Denmark Iceland? Iceland. It's like wow. Next time we should get to, we should try to go to the King's Side in Jamaica. Oh, yeah. Or Puerto Rico. Oh. Costa Rica is nice. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Um, That's good. Yeah, you're that balance between like the you know there's like the the darkness. This is a big heavy dark story, yeah. and and Snyder just very deftly used some humor and some lightness to kind of balance it out always really well balanced mm -hmm. it's anyways yeah so the gang gets together uh-huh there's a lot of more uh, there's a lot more about cyborg uh, yeah. on, on this version we see we see his mom we never see his mom on the mm -hmm. other version we, we saw the accident that uh, uh, kills her yeah. and almost kills him uh -huh. uh, and his father doing the job and getting the box to try yeah. to to, to, save to save him son. and um, yeah and a lot of it's it's really it's really beautifully done um, again I feel like I feel like um, with, with cyborg and the Amazons both were done a huge disservice in the theatrical version and that I'll just use the terrible pun again justice was done yeah in this in this version they both Got to have much bigger, more more fleshed out, more beautiful stories, um, more meaningful. That's a better word. More meaningful. Yeah. More meaningful stories. Um, okay, so the gang's all together. They've got Victor's mother box, um, and they're like, okay, well, what do we do now? Like Steppenwolf just kicked our butts. But he's gonna take over the world. Like humanity's gonna die. How can we possibly face this? Oh, before before that, oh, uh, mm -hmm. uh, it's uh, uh, someone asks, "How? Did, it's, uh, oh, Aquaman! Mm. Like, How did you get that box? Right? Yeah. And so he he gonna tells the story, and he mm. he connects to the box, and does this holographic yes. image to show what happened. Mm -hmm. So uh, the Nazis found the box. Yes. So, Oh, and classic. then the allies beat the Nazis, the allies got it, brought mm -hmm. back to the America, and it's like it's pretty interesting, cool mm -hmm. historical connection. Since the Atlantean one is stayed in Atlantis, uh, even when Atlantis fell to the sea, mm -hmm. and the Amazon one is the state of the Amazon all this time. So yeah. the man one that was uh, buried in a hole, uh, it wasn't buried found by you know Nazis, Nazis since there's this whole uh, uh, thing that Hitler was into dark magic and historical things and archaeology but it kind of it, 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 I mean uh, it, I think it, it, I think it's kind of true because the whole swastika thing it is an, a, an, ancient, true. That symbol is an ancient symbol from the Kabbalah and yeah. uh, so you know it, it has some some sh slight sure. evidences sure. that he you know but like Indiana Jones Hellboy or even the, the whole, or like, even the hand thing you know oh really I mean I mean the the the, the Romans did something like that like oh yeah but yeah. that's not like an occult thing I know it's not or like, like a dark no no not thing. a cold historic like you know ancient oh, oh, yeah, things yeah, yeah, yeah. mixing both you know yes yes, yes. Uh, uh, well that's why it's the third Reich like it's the third Roman Empire yes yes yeah. even that you know so he was really into this so uh, mm -hmm. historical artifacts and dark magic so yeah. he heard about that he digged it and he took it but then when mm -hmm. the, the Allies kicked their butt, they took that uh, to America. So they yeah. finally made it to the Star Labs and the mm -hmm. accident. And the guy saved his life and there was his father. He mm -hmm. was in the box. Yeah. Yeah. Um, okay. So they're talking. Cyborg is explaining what the mother box is, how it's it's like a, an engine of change, right? And and oh, I thought was that oh. on the was that on the Whedon version? Honestly, I, I don't really, remember. I really, I really love this this explanation. Mm -hmm. You know, it's like anyone can make uh, a fire. Yes, anyone with matches can uh, turn uh, a house into. 
smoke. smoke. You know, they talk about uh, uh, how in physics nothing is lost, it uh -huh. is changed, it's transformed. I think yeah. it's what Lavoisier? No, it's Lamarck. Lamarck, right? Yeah. I yeah, don't okay. Sorry. Uh, I think it's Lamarck, the guy. Uh, 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 the, the theory that nothing mm. nothing is lost, nothing is gone. Uh, it, but just changes. it just changes. Mm -hmm. uh, and they talk about how you can, with matches, you can make a house become smoke. And the box has the power, the ability to bring smoke back into a house. I was like, oh, And here, oh, sorry, go ahead. Go, go, go. I was just saying, here was just a moment of like, Using a soundtrack to its fullest effect. As they're saying this, uh -huh. that only the box can make a smoke can make smoke become a house. We start to hear the boom boom, the Superman theme mm -hmm. from Man of Steel. And uh, about soundtrack, the soundtrack is completely different. It is. It's done by uh, it's done by the guy that Snyder wanted to do it, but then we didn't say no. Nah, let's do it with this other guy. Mm -hmm. Anyways, so. Uh, and it's, it's beautifully done. It's, it's, it's like hitting the, the shorts, it's like number one uh, uh, on the shorts, the soundtrack yeah. right now. Anyways, and then they talk about how Steppenwolf is strong and Wonder Woman says like it's probably uh, one of the strongest I uh, ever fought, only... Except for... Another one. Mm -hmm. And then uh, uh, this moment, Victor projects in the box the one Superman, yeah. The one that could beat him. Mm -hmm. And then uh, the Flash was like, "Hey, should I say what everybody's thinking? Should I say it? Should I say it?" Because okay, I'll say it. <laughs> so they decide to use the box to to bring back the mm -hmm. last son of Krypton. Yes. And Against Aquaman's strenuous objections, yeah. he's kind of a cynic this whole time about like the group and everything. He's like, ah, I don't know, man. And then they're like, okay, so we are, we're gonna do this, right? We're gonna it bring is, Superman back is, to life. And something. he's like, uh, no, this is, no. It is something like, is it really gonna bring someone back from the dead? It's like, have you guys seen a zombie movie? Maybe this guy's gonna come back yeah. as a zombie, at least, <laughs> if not worse. So mm -hmm. they go, they go and do it, and the way they invade Star Labs, the, the whole process is is very well more thought of, very well more uh, mm -hmm. more explained. Yeah. Uh, uh, the other one is like boom, boom, you know. In this one, mm -hmm. there's even like a, a moment, like father son moment, when you know Victor comes to. Uh, his father realizes like this is not they they they, they hack the system and yeah. to make everybody go out because the system is under uh, a biological threat and then it's like this, this is wrong this is and then he find out it's wrong but then when he saw his son he's like oh and let him go mm -hmm. you know that was another thing that i loved about this version how so victor and his dad have this terrible relationship this one we get to see them kind of rebuild that. So it's his dad who tells him about his powers. Um, says like, hey, you can, like the internet is yours and you can fly and all this other stuff. He tells him that on a recording. Um, so his dad is kind of guiding him along, even though his Victor doesn't really want that. And then yeah, this, when they go to Star Labs, or when they, when they go to the, the alien crash site, the Kryptonian crash site, it really gives Dr. Stone a, a moment of badly needed redemption and like a moment of healing for their relationship which is just yeah beautiful even before yeah. that when they rescue everybody from uh yeah from uh, the parademons the parademons mm -hmm. the the sadist is like you came and he's like of course yeah you my father mm -hmm. anyways back to star lab so to get there they're gonna do mm -hmm. it and uh, the plan is that the f the, they need uh, power, so the Flash is gonna do it. He's you mm -hmm. know he's run around to charge and you know throw uh, power mm -hmm. to the box to wake the box up. Yeah. And and here he says something that's gonna be important for this film and for the Flash movie. He says the closer I get to the speed of light funny things start to happen with time. Yes. And we see that right before the box. It's like he runs, he does his thing, and mm -hmm. the box is falling. The box is falling. And we see the box going back up a little mm -hmm. bit. Uh, but before the box falls, 
Victor is preparing the whole thing. Mm -hmm. So he's plugged in, they've, they've got the mother box ready to go, and he's plugged into the Kryptonian ship and that whole system. And the ship is like, ah, do you really want to do this? I don't think you want to do this. And he has this vision of just a catastrophic future that would happen if they bring back Superman. Yeah, and we see Aquaman being killed by Dark Side. Mm -hmm. We see this like terrible dark funeral for uh, Wonder Woman in Tennessee. Yeah. And Dark Side arrives in his ship and he's watching the whole thing. Uh -huh. uh, we see a Green Lantern Kilowog. We see a Green uh, Green mm -hmm. Lantern dead. Um, and most and importantly, we see Superman clutching an absolutely burned, like, Uncle Owen Ombaru level burned body. Yeah. Which can, we can only assume is Lois. Because mm -hmm. Lois has been a, a fact, uh, not only on this version, on the other version, but also on Batman vs Superman, the flesh shows up, it's like, yeah. Lois Lane, she's the key! Uh, and yeah, she dies and he goes bad, which is, I don't know, I think that there's there's more to it, you know, there's some sort of mind control because, I mean, I guess it, when she dies, he, his mind go weak and he's starting to be mind controlled because the fact yeah. that she die, dying only don't, would not turn him bad. Yeah, I don't think the grief would drive him evil. What we see in this vision, like, he's he's like holding this body and then Darkseid puts a hand on his shoulder and he looks up and and that's kind of the beginning of Batman's nightmare from um, Dawn of Justice, Dark Batman vs. Superman. Yeah. So Victor comes out of the vision and is like, no, no, no! But and Barry hears, go! He goes. Yeah. And he does his thing, throw mm -hmm. his power uh, lightning uh, to the box. The box wakes up, mm -hmm. resurrects Superman. It's a great Sistine Chapel moment because Barry's like running, and and Ezra Miller's got this like this like really different way of running, like moving his arms when he runs. I guess I don't know if that's something they decided to do for the Flash. Anyway, as he leaps, he like leaps in to you know the the goo to touch the the box and it's like you know the, the hand of God reaching out to give life to Adam and Ezra or, or Barry reaches out to give life to the mother box and yeah super anyway and very right all this all this time even even before Victor has the vision Aquaman mm -hmm. was like uh you should yeah. do it. <laughs> anyways uh, frankly he's quite reasonable he's yeah. got reason on his side but, but a small comment about all that is like if they do they might go into the dark future but if they don't you know they they all gonna die yeah that's kind of so it's 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 i guess it's a risk everything in going to the dark future and try to fight the possibility of the dark future yeah then everybody dies so uh, uh it's kind of like it's, it it's was like good the council of rivendell we're like well everything is gonna go it's it's wrong there's no way this can succeed but it's our only hope so we're gonna yeah. do it anyway like yeah. this this was a similar long shot what does what does what does the the uh gimli says it's like impossibility of victory yes Maybe you're gonna die? Yes. Count me in. Yeah. <laughs> Something like that. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so anyway. it was good that Barry heard go when Victor said no. So they mm -hmm. do resurrect Superman. Mm -hmm. uh, he pops out of the, 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 the lab mm -hmm. and goes up the, the ceiling. He looks at everything. Mm -hmm. And then the league comes out. He goes meet the league. And. Yep. and and then it's kind of okay, and, and then he freaks out. He doesn't remember anything, so he starts finding them. Especially when Victor starts, his arm become a, uh -huh. a cannon is about to shoot him because you know the the arm is. And the armor uh, senses the massive threat, threat yeah. of a mindless undead demigod. So they fight, and as the fight is really good, it's mm -hmm. it's better than the the other version, and and then Lois shows up. And he Which doesn't wasn't speak. the plan. She just oh yeah, he doesn't. He speak. doesn't speak. So because he doesn't speak, there was no need for reshoots and no need for reshoots, no need to erase, you know, certain <laughs> mustache. Yes. So all original Zack Snyder footage. Mm -hmm. uh, and what he spoke on the other version was like, was one liners and jokes like, oh, do you bleed? <laughs> mm -hmm. Anyways, uh, so they fight. 
uh, but Lois shows up because she goes there every day. And fun fact, mm -hmm. irony, coincidence, uh, after a visit from Martha Kent, she was like, okay, I, I have to, yes. to get out of this. I have to move on with my life. I'm going to go there one last time. Wait, and wait, she wait. goes. A visit from Martha Kent? It wasn't Martha Kent, right? It looked like Martha Kent. Sounded like Martha Kent. It was actually Martian Manhunter. Yeah. So excited. So uh, anyway, so she goes. She, she buys a coffee. She stops with the uh, uh, with the cop she always talks mm -hmm. to, and just say, "Oh, today is the last time." Mm -hmm. And it was the last time. Not because not for what she thought it would be. Yeah. But because the Man of Steel was alive again. He's back. So she's there. He sees her. Mm -hmm. And she talks to him, come. And then they, he, they take her yeah. uh, uh, to Kansas. She says, let's go, let's go. And yeah. he takes her to Kansas. And... and and then the league get together, go back to the cave. I mean, go to the cave. And the Flash is like, whoa. Yeah. <laughs> uh, and then uh, they get together and they plan uh, on how to go uh, to... Uh... No, Steppenwolf shows up, right? That's right. Steppenwolf shows up to say so. In all of this, in all all of this happening, um, they have quite justifiably forgotten about the mother box. Steppenwolf shows up because it's awake. This is the last one he needs. Um, in the conflict to stop him to try to save and hide this box, um, Silas Stone gets his hands on it, rushes it into the lab, closes himself in with with a laser, and turns on the laser to shoot it at the box. Which of course doesn't do anything. It doesn't destroy it, but he it does kill him because um, it's like a microwave laser. I, I don't remember. They talk about it earlier in the movie. Um, Steppenwolf shows up, grabs the box, leaves with it, and Victor is now left with he lost the mother box, this horrifying vision of the future, and also having watched his dad die in a horrible way. Um, which you thought? Which uh, at first you thought it was like oh, so that was useless death. But we figure out. Yeah, and then he realizes, wait, my dad knew what was going to happen. He he knew that wouldn't have destroyed the mother box. What he did was superheat it so that now it would show up on any kind of infrared or like any kind of like thermal imaging, whatever. Satellite, because it would be yeah. yeah. <sighs> and so Bruce says, oh well, I'll just get my satellite to look at it. And, uh, and Flash is like, do you have a satellite? You have a satellite? <laughs> I have six. <laughs> Anyways. You'd have seven if Zod and Superman wouldn't destroy that one of the menace true. too. It's yeah, well you can't have everything. Yeah. So and then they find where the, the, the boxes mm -hmm. the boxes are uh, on Chernobyl. They're about to unite. Yeah. To it's not actually Chernobyl, but it's basically Chernobyl. Is it? they don't they say Chernobyl? They don't. They, it's the site of a nuclear accident, uh, but they okay. use a different so name. That's Chernobyl. Yeah. Anyways, uh, so they go there, they plan the whole thing and what to do. Mm -hmm. And this is very, very more interesting and complex than the the other versions, you know. Yes. There's like getting inside the box and hacking and separating them uh, logically, uh, you know, software wise, and then separate them yeah. physically. It's not just like a muscle thing. Yes, Victor yeah. has to like really put himself in there, mm -hmm. literally. So, mm -hmm. so they go do that, and one of the first things that different from from the the other version is uh, the dome covering the city is destroyed right away. So mm -hmm. it's not all red all the time like the other version. But yeah. the plan the plan uh, goes more or less uh, as they as they uh, decided to go. Mm -hmm. Meanwhile. Uh, uh, Superman is recovering his memory with his yeah. his wife to be a wife uh, that we found. Yeah. So just just something important that I'd forgotten about before. Um, so going into all this, as they get ready to go to Chernobyl, not Chernobyl, they Superman's not back with them. They don't know if he's yeah. going to show up. No, or not. he flew away flows. Yeah, he flows. They don't know that he's going to come and and as they're getting ready to go and 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 they finally get this like cool flying troop carrier thing working and um everyone's saying like Bruce this isn't like this isn't going to work but but Bruce is like hopeful and and he keeps talking about having faith and I really love this version of Batman so much more than what we got in the theatrical cut, the uh, theatrical version, because this time, or in the in the theatrical version, 
he's just, it seems like he's just ready to die. He's ready to give up. And so he's trying to put together a league to, you know, take care of things and save the earth after he's done. He keeps saying things like, oh, I'm broken and oh, I'm too old for this. And in this one, he's looking for redemption. Um, he's just overwhelmed by guilt for his role in Superman's death. And and he's trying to, he's got to fix that. He's got to keep his promise to protect the earth. Um, and and so that that search for redemption turns to like faith and hope for the future. And and so he's a much more like inspiring and, and an, an inspiring character instead of someone who's just like, oh, I'm dying. Um, and so as they as they get ready to go, not knowing if Superman's actually going to show up after everything they went through to get him back, um, he's just like, well, we got to have faith, and this is what we're going to do. Okay, everyone, and and they go, and they're ready to like they're they're together, they're united, and they're they're ready to lay everything on the line, not really knowing if it's going to work, but anyway, yeah. Yeah, so so they go and they execute the plan, and uh, Clark is is getting back his memories of his his wife, with his mom, mm -hmm. and then he tells them, "Say I have to go." They brought him back for a reason, so I'm going there. So he goes mm -hmm. and uh, uh, he goes back to Alfred, and I yeah. know uh, first he goes to to the ship where he, we have all his suits, mm -hmm. and he picks a black one, does, and <sighs> put the black suit on and fly like just like a man of steel straight up get some catch some rays yeah mm -hmm. and then he met he met he met alfred and alfred tells him what to do so the leak is fighting and uh, uh and it starts out okay batman goes in he takes down the he takes down the dome um the rest of the league goes in mm -hmm. with them and they're you know fighting off the parademons and um fighting off the parademons and 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 wonder woman and aquaman are going up against steppenwolf and it is just like oh, epic so great victor's doing his thing with the the mother boxes and barry's like running around trying to get fast enough to give victor the spark that he needs to like push him into the into the unity so that he can break it up um and then things start to go wrong um steppenwolf kind of gains the upper hand over gains the upper hand over aquaman and wonder woman um a parademon manages somehow to to get a shot off it at barry um and and yeah it's almost over like steppenwolf raises his axe he's gonna bring it down on victor and then right did i miss something or is that no it's right okay and so so uh uh barry can't make it because of his his uh he's injured mm -hmm. and cyborg is inside the mother box the mother boxes the unity and he sees the unity as himself his mother and his father and they mm -hmm. start tempting him yep. oh you should you should stay here. You're gonna be united. You're gonna mm -hmm. be happy. Yeah, you can um, be human. And then he's about to he's about to 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 break it, and he needs Barry, but Barry never comes. Is that is that? I'm getting. I feel like I'm getting a sequence mixed up. Yeah. No. No. First, what what happens first? First, uh, 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 first they fail. Yeah. First. Yeah. Yeah. Before. Before. Uh, yes. Before Victor gets in, sorry, before Victor gets in, mm -hmm. the, the unity happens, and if that happens, boom, oh, explosion that wipes out everything yeah. that's going on. And then uh, Barry, Barry uh, uh, because he, he travels in a speed faster than everyone else, he saw that coming, and then he starts running fast and healing from his wounds. Yeah. And he says something, he's like, you gotta break the rule. Just break the rule. Just do it, Barry. Yeah. Uh, uh, so he starts running faster than the light. Mm-hmm. And once he runs faster than the light, uh, the light speed, mm -hmm. he goes, starts going back in time. Mm -hmm. And he goes back in time, goes back in time. And, and things rebuild and, and people come back together. I mean, 
technically he's going sorry. back in yeah. time yeah so he goes back in time and as he just go back in time before everybody and everything is destroyed he gives the power that victor needs to get in victor gets in mm -hmm. separate everything and then at that moment yeah uh, uh steppenwolf is about to wax him, ax him mm -hmm. and then superman shows up and boom yeah to his shoulder and he's like doesn't even flinch not <gasps> impressed <laughs> and then that's that gives it enough time for for uh victor does his thing and get out so uh superman <sighs> below yeah stepping wolf's axe and, and then breaks it and cyborg screams superman and he comes and help him separate physically mm -hmm. So then they start kick stepping wolf, wolf's butt and yeah. but before be, before that when the unity happens, uh, boom two opens mm -hmm. and we see dark side and apocalypse watching this ready to come and invade. But then when Barry goes back in time, that doesn't happen. So it's just mm -hmm. the league, I guess, and stepping wolf and they beat him and cut his ear cut off head one of his thing. Antler horns. Yeah. Finally, mm -hmm. Aquaman is like stab him in the back because yeah. he's tried and, and then throw him back to, on the boon tube, the boon tube. Uh huh. And then Wonder Woman whoosh, cut his cut head. Cut his head off. And yeah. here's Dark no Side and Apocalypse. That's the Earth we want. And mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah, and Dark Side is like, ah. I'm gonna have to do the old fashioned way. Yep. Yeah. Oh, yeah, because before. Before all of this, um, Steppenwolf realizes that the anti-life equation is on Earth. And so even after watching, seeing Steppenwolf get totally owned, realizing that the Earth is definitely defended, that's why Darkseid is like, nope, we still gotta go. Like, yeah. I want that anti-life equation. Yeah. And so, there's more, yeah. there's communications between, uh, um, uh, Steppenwolf and Apocalypse. Uh, first, D Sad, and then mm -hmm. the Dark Side, uh, and we, we see them and we hear them, and it's really good. And we find out that he's he's mm -hmm. not the biggest bad guy. You know, there's always a bigger yeah. fish, and he works for a very big fish. Yeah. So the league wins, and they jump back in the plane, and there's no plants we growing, and they like gayish thing that we didn't did. Uh, and they go back to to uh, they go back to their lives. Superman, yeah. Super Aquaman mm -hmm. have some more talks with the Atlanteans, and decides, okay, I'm gonna go see my father, which leads right into the. The Aquaman movie. Yes, um, it's a much nicer bridge between Dawn of Justice. And, yeah. Uh, Same thing with with the Flash, which uh, he now he's a criminology uh, yep. intern assistant. Yeah. Uh, which gonna lead into the Flash movie. Mm -hmm. um, same thing for. Um, who is the other one? Flash Cyborg. Yeah, what is that? We don't really see. No, it's an super, epilogue for him. Super, Superman. Clark. It is. They don't say it like outright, uh. but it's pretty heavily hinted slash shown that Lois is pregnant. Yes. Um, and so we see them like helping Martha move back into the farm. Oh, Wonder Woman. It mm -hmm. is. It's. It's a. It's a. It leads into a Wonder Woman movie. The way it ends, she's holding mm. the the arrow, and you know. There's Temiskira and there's was she banned? Was she banned on this? She universe? was banished. Okay. Yeah. So she was banished. Uh, but her, but but. But in the books, there's a war yeah. that goes to Temiskira, and she has to go there. She does, and Hippolyta did, did say when she was when she fired the arrow, she said, "Bring my daughter back to me." Yeah. And so it, it so. leads right into a sequel. It mm -hmm. could be two, but it's not two anymore because two is 1984. It could be three. Who knows? Yeah. Um, and for Batman, uh, there's a, he encounters someone that I mean that that would not lead into a Batman movie, but there's some scenes on the epilogue that would lead into a Batman movie. Mo sure. One exclusive with Deathstroke that could lead into a Deathstroke movie and yes. a Batman movie that we knew it would happen with Affleck involved and all that. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah. So. We, we have the, the thing we saw before, Luther 
you know, Luther's escaped. Um, oh, we have. He's Go escaped ahead. Arkham, and he's on the yacht with his femme fatale bodyguards, and um, and and Deathstroke comes to see him. Um, so he's setting up that whole thing, and Bruce is. Oh yeah. So and 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 Lex just tells Dart or Deathstroke. Um, Batman, his name is Bruce Wayne. Um, so that's out there. And that's, that's all set up. Um, but then, um, we suddenly, in kind of a bizarre cut, we suddenly go right back to the, the nightmare. But before that, oh, uh, yeah. another lead to another movie is uh, The Atom. Like, Ryan Choi is yes. now the lead of uh, mm -hmm. Star Labs. And you know, in the book, he becomes Atom. Uh, and he's the lead of the, what, minima minimizing... Minimal He's the party. director of nanotechnology. Nanotechnology. Yeah. Yeah, so at least writing than that. So mm -hmm. we have a lot of, you know, leading to different movies, yes. setting the universe, and uh -huh. also to set the Justice League movies, we go back to the Nightmare. Yes. Um, and in this, this version of the Nightmare, or this part of the Nightmare, we see um, the, it's most of the league together. We've got Batman, Cyborg, Barry is there. And then Deathstroke is with them. Mara? Yes, Mara is with them. And they're like, she's like ready to kill Superman because I guess he killed Aquaman. And, um, and they're, they're talking slash arguing, figuring out what to do next. And then you hear this laugh. And they're like, oh yeah, the Joker's here. And he and Batman have this whole exchange. And yeah. Very heavy loaded. Uh, uh, yes. dialogue mm -hmm. and that tells a lot but that doesn't tell anything it does but I think a lot of it was setting up for I'm just I'm so ready for this flash movie now or or uh, just or however they're gonna deal with this night. Oh yeah, of course this movie sequence. leads into two more uh, Justice mm -hmm. League movies, and finally uh, a scene there was changed. You know, Snyder was able to do so so much, but then but there are two things he couldn't do it. Like the final scene, uh, one of the final scenes we see uh, one Marsh Martian Manhunter mm -hmm. coming to talk to Bruce about you know everything and uh, uniting the league and getting all together. Yeah. And the Threat is coming, and now. But the thing, the thing oh. that I want to say that oh, yeah. uh, Snyder couldn't do it. He wanted to do it. Like he actually wanted to do it. Uh, uh, Green Lantern. It would mm. be Green Lantern. It would be John Stewart. But the w, WB said it's like no, we cannot do. John, we had plans for John Stewart, so. Oh, uh, right. It's like we had plans and it has been since what 2016. <laughs> Student doing things, so <laughs> time's always done. So it's the, he's, their plans are not mm -hmm. really, yeah. One more thing about Martian Manhunter. First of all, finally, um, I'm so happy that he's involved. Um, and, but that, when, and that and that put the thing that there was a slogan for the movie it was uh, unite the seven. Hayden, he would be at the seven. Mm. Yeah, I was counting a couple times. I was counting. I'm like, we're missing somebody. Yeah. Um, so. We know what, so Martha Kent goes to have this conversation with Lois to get her to go back to work. And when Martha leaves, we see her eyes shine red, transforms into Martian Manhunter, and it's like, yeah, Lois deserves like a life or something. And then transforms again into General Swanwick, who we saw in Man of Steel, we saw at Superman's funeral. And so that opens up some interesting things like at what point was Swanwick like like was Swanwick in Man of Steel was that Martian Manhunter or is that Swanwick and like when did he take over is that who he is all the time I don't know anyway I see what you mean yeah, yeah there was a Swanwick and this guy took take, took over mm -hmm. okay yeah anyway so. so yeah so much it was so, much. so good and mm -hmm. what else I don't know, the visual effects were fantastic. Everybody got bigger, more complex storylines. Okay, characters were deepened, mm -hmm. and embiggened. Yes, embiggened is dead. I think that's the best word for this. this yeah. is, it was all embiggened, but most of all the stakes were higher. Like, like this is dark side, and this is it. And they didn't defeat him. Like, yeah, they completely owned Steppenwolf, but, but it was also very clear, like, He's pretty far down the food chain. Like Darkseid didn't even like him at that point. Um, there are much bigger and much worse things 
to come. Yeah, um, and Dark Side was terrific. It was like mm -hmm. visually scary, and sh the sound yeah. was really good. It was mm -hmm. awesome. All distorted and evil. Yeah, we caught a glimpse of Granny Goodness next to him. Um, she looks, you know, nice and evil and soulless. Yeah, as she ought to be. And they, and they're coming. Mm -hmm. And as, as the movie hits HBO Max in the world, mm -hmm. it's like servers everywhere falling apart, crashing because there's yeah. way too many people wanting to watch way too many times. Uh, also, mm -hmm. uh, the campaigns are already out. It's like restore the Snyder verse. Yes. We do want Justice League 2, Justice League 3, yeah. Man of Steel 2. We keep going with this. Yeah, and if Warner doesn't, if Warner didn't learn it the first time, they are a bunch of morons. Yeah. So, yeah. I will say this. I enjoyed Justice League, the theatrical version. Like, I wasn't suffering through that. It was... But it was clearly, it was clear. You watch that one, you watch this one. There was a, it was clearly not Snyder. Oh, yeah. No, and that was, you that was tell, clear. In the, even before seeing tell. this one, like, it was clear that this was not... You, you can tell... What we were promised. Yeah. It wasn't what, what it, was intended. It's like, you, you can tell Snyder is, he's very, very, uh, you can tell a movie is his by, by watching, mm -hmm. you know? Yeah, and that theatrical version was not was not his. But I just I like like I, I enjoyed it. It was fun. Um but it was also there's a lot of disappointing things and you know, I was never like super eager to watch it again. But yeah. this one, I can't wait to watch this again. After four hours, I wanted more. Like I'm so excited for what's coming next. And yeah. he built he yeah, he did set up not just a great film but but a whole yeah, a potential for a whole universe of Yes. <sighs> of and, films and, and seeing this now looking back on the theatrical release why you had this yeah. and you chose to do this instead why yeah. it's like why? the suits the suits oh. have, the suits have, it's like oh people will like this it's like no 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 not the jack to jack mm -hmm. you know and yeah so justice league snyder cut is available on hbo max it's awesome you should see it we see it hashtag restore the snyder universe yes so we we'll be able to see uh the sequels mm -hmm. and the other movies in the universe you know yeah have faith yes okay that's it for this week okay we might talk more about snyder verse and justice league Zack Snyder's Justice League in the future because there was not enough time, but you know, mm. it's yeah, go watch it, let, let yeah. us know. It's so oh, good. I'm gonna watch so it again. Good. Okay, that's it for this week. Mm -hmm. Love and prosper. May the force be with you. Bye. Bye.